Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, um, I will be re reviewing LEGO Avengers Infinity War set 76104, which is the Hulkbuster smash-up set. So, uh, the reason I'm doing this is because last time I had some technical issues and I didn't get to complete the video in the way I would like. So, please bear with me. If you do like this format, please let me know. And I will do a few more like this. So basically, you have the you have the Hulk, you have the Iron Man Hulkbuster outfit, which isn't quite as as vast as the it's not it's not quite on par with the mate with the with the main one they do. That's what it looks like as a Hulkbuster. It has an arm that moves on the side. The rest of it is just standard articulation. It does stand up. The Hulkbuster's always been one of my favourite armors as. As anyone who, who, who's actually seen the other video will know, so this comes with um, Bruce Banner, who who took on the Hulkbuster arm, who, who started wearing the Hulkbuster armor in, in the movie. Anyone who's seen Avengers: Infinity War will know this. So very good film, highly recommended. So looks quite nice. The figure you can put a figure in there quite which is quite quite nicely. Has nice some nice movement with it. Nice joints on the legs, toes move. Nice fair bit of movement on it. Which is that they are a little bit better than the um, um than these than these similar ones they're doing with um, Iron Man and Thanos at the moment as well. The mechs as they are but this as a mech is actually very cool and it's very big. We have Proxima Midnight who is one of the characters from um, Avengers Infinity War, one of um, Thanos' lieutenants. It's quite a nice figure, some very nice detailing on it. So the body body's quite nice and the weapon's quite good as well. So quite nice. We have the Falcon. This is a second ver variation of the Falcon I've, 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 I've had because I got the, um, the one from Captain America Civil War. And which was quite good, but this, this, this one is quite nice. It comes with a, um, a, a, a red wing drone as well, which is quite nice. Which, which the Falcon can, can, can actually control. So the body work is, the body on it, the body detail on the body is quite nice to imply it's an armor and stuff like that. He has some yellow bits on the back to make it look like it's got jets on it as well. Not too sure about the hair piece on it, but it's a bit too stereotyped, but still quite nice snub nevertheless, so put him over there. We have an, an Outrider, which is one of um, Thanos' minions. And basically, it's a variation of a... Um, the figure itself is a variation of a, a Venom or a Doctor Octopus type figure, so... Still quite a nice repaint. And, and if you were playing, you've got some nice extra bad guys to play with as well. So there's a bit of de nice detail on the back of his head as well. So as well as the front, so not a bad figure overall. So, and they have a, this is, this is one of their cannons, which actually fires the ball out, which I won't do because I tend to lose them. So, but I guarantee you it works. It moves up and down like so. It has a stopping point there. And if you, this bit here moves as well, to make it look angled. And if you open the back up here, you can actually find one of the Infinity Gems, which is basically um, a Lego gem, all more made different colors, but still very cool. Overall, this is a very good set. Not bad on the value, not bad value-wise. If it wasn't branded, I possibly wouldn't wouldn't buy it. But because it is, it does it does it does it does make the list. I will be building the the War Machine mech soon, and possibly doing a comparison video as well. So I hope you like this video. If you have, please let me know. Uh, if you have any any feedback, again, please let me know. And please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I hope to see you in my next video and and keep building and stay safe and stay safe in these um, interesting times. Thank you for watching.